at 6. Concerns of racial stereotyping on the Regis University campus tonight. This after MLK Day was celebrated with fried chicken and a bake sale where students paid according to their race. Well, students contacted us because they wanted to speak out about this. In Denver 7, Jackie Freya joins us with how the school is handling this. Jackie? Two students started this campaign called Regis Is Not Me after feeling the university had not done enough to address some of those issues. But the school says it celebrates diversity and does not tolerate discrimination in any way. Technically, we are Regis, but Regis is not us. Like, Regis does not embody um, who we are as people. At this private Jesuit university, some students have questions outside of the classroom. Where do I see myself? Where am I in this institution? Upperclassmen Ashley Skeens and Kiara Long started the campaign Regis is not me on social media and on campus after they compared notes. I've had a professor basically blatantly tell me that I shouldn't be applying to be a pre-law minor because I was a female and I was going to change my mind after a while. The problem is things like this happen all the time and they go unaddressed all the time. For instance, the menu on a certain holiday left a bad taste in their mouths. I think it was just, okay, it's MLK Day, let's serve chicken. Well, we don't think they meant anything by it, but we still have to let them know, like, this is not okay. The most recent incident was Social Justice Week. A student held a bake sale where he priced the cookies according to the student's race. Overtly <laughs> offensive and just really not okay. The school shut the table down, but some felt it was swept under the rug. It's been two weeks and Students are still outraged. Regis University tells Denver 7 the Office of Diversity held an open forum for students who felt marginalized, attacked, or unsafe. This was facilitated by a Regis counselor and attended by diversity office staff. And as for the sign in the cafeteria, the school says it came from a contracted caterer. In a statement, the school said in part, the Bon Appetit management company sets its own daily menu, and this was one of the entrees the cafe was offering on Martin Luther King Day. Cafe managers acknowledged their error and the sign was removed that day. They hope the school will do its best to make all students feel like they belong. Care for the whole person, including their background and um, no matter where they're from. Jackie Crea, Denver 7.